Today we'll be talking about the different types of dermatological lesions. There are nine different types we're going to talk about today. The first one being the pustule. It is circular, raised purulent, containing fluid or, fluid or pus, surrounded by red skin. It can be bulging, and examples include acne, allergen, or bites. Then we have vesicles, which are small, fluid-filled sacs. The fluid can be transparent, white, yellow, brown, or red. It can be found in bullets, pancreas, chicken box, herpes, and in tigo, just to name a few. Then we have bullae, as you can see on the right. There's quite an image there. We have large blisters, sac-like containing fluid with a thin layer of skin. Examples include Bullis Pemphigoid again, and Poison Ivy Irritation. And we have the fourth number, which is Papules, which are less than one centimeter. Raised skin lesions clustered together to form a rash. Examples include Contact Dermatitis, HPV, Keratosis, such as Seborrheic or Actinic Keratosis, Eczema, Psoriasis, or Lycanthamus. Then the fifth, we have macules, which are less than one centimetre, flat, discoloured, and can evolve into patches greater than one centimetre. They're not raised, and examples include infections, cancer, vitiligo, moles, and sunspots. Number six, we have pl plaques, which are greater than one centimetre, rough, red, silver scales, with elevated buildup of dead skin cells. Examples include psoriasis, and we have patches, which are greater than one centimetre. They cause a change in melanin levels, which can lead to hypo or hyper pigmentation. They're flat, and examples include vertiligo, which is absence of the pigment in certain patches, or cathode spots. Number penultimately, tumors. The solid is found within the deeper layers of the skin and can be elevated greater than one centimeter and circumscribed. They can be red, brown, or white in color. Contain blood vessels. They're usually painless, they grow in size, and examples include basal and squamous cell carcinoma. Finally, we have nodules. They grow in abnormal tissue and they can be 0.8 cm to 2.5 cm. They can be within the superficial or deep layers of the skin, such as the epidermis or dermis, or hypodermis as well. And you, it can be described by some dermatologists as lump under the skin. Examples include rheumatoid nodules, xanthomas, lipomas, and/or dermatofibromas.